Hello Super Set Maniacs, welcome back to my channel. Tomorrow the 2020 Mr. Olympia officially kicks off and the main event will probably be the battle between the current Mr. Olympia champion Brandon Curry and the returning 7 time Olympia champion Phil Heath. So in this video I wanna compare their best versions of all time yet, which for Phil is probably 2011 Olympia and for Brandon is the 2019 Ardon Classic. As always we start with the front double biceps pose. They both have uh, powerful biceps with uh, Phil having the advantage of uh, better muscle separation and also superior forearms. They both have uh, great V tapers, both having nice and tight midsections. But Brandon has the wider frame and also the smaller midsection, so he has an advantage for the V taper. But Phil Heath has the better proportioned legs in relation to the rest of his body and combined with the arm superiority, I think he's got the edge over Brandon here. In my opinion, Phil wins the front double biceps. Next pose is the front lat spread and the difference in their shoulder to shoulder width is way more obvious in this pose. Brandon's lats seem bigger and wider, with the smaller midsection helping for the illusion as well. Phil's downstairs superiority is not enough for him to win this pose, so Brandon wins the front lat spread. Side chest and this is a pose where they match up very well. Phil is known for the roundness of his arms and shoulders, but Brandon has similar qualities and puts up a very good fight here. Brandon's legs also look comparable with Phil's from the side, so this pose can really go either way. But I think Phil has a slight advantage upper body, being fuller and rounder, and at the same time having very good conditioning, and I think he wins this pose. Next pose is the back double biceps and uh, as far as the upper body is concerned, uh, Brandon has all the tools to give Phil a good fight, Phil being one of the best ever in this pose. They both have uh, powerful arms and delts, impressive details and symmetry through their backs, but the decisive factor in this pose will obviously be the lower body, where Phil Heath is miles away ahead of Brandon. Phil has world class glutes and hams and decent calves, but Brandon's glutes, hams and calves are below the average of today's men's open bodybuilding division. Phil Heath wins this pose. Back lat spread and again uh, Brandon Curry has the wider structure and the better flaring lats but lacks the fullness and details Phil Heath presents here. In my opinion Phil beats Brandon in this pose both upper body and lower body and wins the back lat spread. Our next pose is the side triceps and I like Brandon's side triceps a lot. I believe his triceps are underrated by most of the fans who like to share their opinions on these kind of bodybuilding comparisons. But on the other hand, Phil is one of the best ever in this pose. His lateral head of the triceps is much thicker than Brandon's and also has the better shoulder and I think it's obvious that he is the better man in this pose. Abs and thighs and uh, in the more recent years it's easy for anyone who goes against Phil to snatch this pose from him, but not early in his career though. His abs and thighs was a strong pose for him, having a very tight and ripped midsection. On the other hand, Brandon has the way better V taper and the more pleasing looking abs, but loses for the other half of this pose which is the quads. This is another pose that can go either way but I personally prefer Brandon in this pose. This is what I expect to see in this pose, a nice V shape, a tight midsection and symmetrical abs. Last pose is the most muscular and they hold it somewhat the same. We all know that Phil always had a powerful most muscular, one of the best ever, but look how good Brandon is holding up against him. Let's also look at the crab variation of this pose and same story. Brandon is very impressive here but still I think Phil has the advantage having rounder and fuller muscles. Brandon looks a bit skinnier and uh, this pose is called the most muscular and obviously Phil is the most muscular out of these two so Phil takes this last pose. 
Final score is 6-2 for Phil Heath. Brandon Curry won only the front lead spread and the abs and ties, but remember guys that this is one of the best versions of all time for Phil this in 2013 and he is a 7 time champion. He is one of the best of all time and Brandon did not reach his peak yet. Not to mention that Brandon was very close in the front double, side chest, back double and most muscular. So he has the potential. If somehow he manages to step up his legs department, he will be very hard to beat. What do you think? Will we see the best Brandon of all time at this year's Mr. Olympia? And what about Phil? Will he be able to be better than in 2011-2013? As far as the front poses, I doubt it, but uh, who knows? I really hope they both bring out their best. That was today's video guys, uh, make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it, it really helps. Leave a comment with your own opinion about this analysis and also subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be uploading updates for you guys during the Olympia and especially after with all kinds of analysis and comparisons so stay tuned. See you next time guys.